Uh, I, I put on the board, uh, first thing I wrote was the start. I, I thought our start was better. Um, you know, we, we talked about growing and progressing. Uh, you can't improve unless you grow and progress. I thought we made some steps forward on some things. Um, obviously, our offense was much better. Our guys did a great job of reading their defense. It's one of the better defenses in the country. Um, and, and we made, you know, good passes, good reads, uh, basketball plays, uh, which was, was really positive. Um, you know, we, and the, you know, and I told them I, I one-on-one -on -one defense and toughness was the things that my worried their areas I were worried about. And I, you know, we got beat off the dribble sometimes, uh, and not sometimes, probably more often than not, especially as we went into the second half. Uh, and then we also got out tough for a few rebounds, but uh, I was dis obviously disappointed in the technicals. Um, our guys have to be more mature. They're freshmen. They, those are things that they did, um, and it's habits they've had. We, we have talked about it in practice, uh, but obviously they, uh, they made mistakes. They learned from them, uh, and now you can't have it again. Uh, we, we have to be better. Uh, if, if we're going to make progress as a team. Thank you, Coach. Uh, first question to uh, Marla Campbell from WIBW. Hey, Coach, you guys shot better percentage-wise from the field and from three tonight and made more shots in both of those categories than Texas Tech did, but we're outscored by 21 from the free throw line. What would you like to see from your guys down the road, A, to get to the line more, and B, to keep teams from getting those easy points? Well, we haven't got to the line, uh, you know, much all year. And In fact, I think it was 8-0 to zero on fouls at one point in the second half. I could be wrong. Um, so we got to be a little stronger and get to the basket. Uh, create contact, make sure you get that contact. You know, some of that is strength. Some of that's maturity, understanding how, you know, angles and things like that. I thought Selton, after a couple really tough outings, was a much more aggressive and, and took the ball to the hoop and got got further in and, you know, created some scoring opportunities for himself. Um, we felt we could get straight line drives on, on them, which we did. Uh, you know, but we, we did, you know, and then on the other end, um, being in position and and not using our hands, uh, helping each other out, uh, just, you know, two, three possessions. But, you know, you can keep saying that until it changes. Uh, you're still going to be disappointed with a loss. So you got a, another uh, – the tough part, I talked to Coach Beard yesterday. Uh, the league is just uh, – you know, I don't know if it's as good as it's ever been, but it's just really, really hard. And – so now you got Oklahoma State who beat them, who had West Virginia by 19, and you're going to have to have the maturity to come back and keep getting better and improving. And that's that's all I can ask for young guys. We had, I think, four freshmen on the court at one time, or uh, you know, and 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 then you know, Rudy's new, Carlton's new, um, you know, and and again, it's you know, it's not a mistake, it's not an excuse, it's just a fact and. Uh, we just have to continue to help them and be patient and help them grow and get better. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette. I, I know it can't be easy against a team like that that just pounds it inside on you, but what can you do better in the future to avoid committing those fouls and keep them keeping them off the line? Well, I think you play with the inside part, you play defense before they get it. Obviously, they got good shooters. They spread you. They got good scheme. Uh, they, they went to Silva early. Um, they got in the paint off of drives. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you get good movement. Uh, you know, one, you got to be just better. Simple, basic drives to the hoop. And, and Chris, Beard, Chris Beard's probably saying that to their guys, too. We got to be better. They got to the hoop on us uh, several times. But ours seem to lead to fouls. Um, and, and we got to just be able to move our feet better, play one-on-one -on -one defense, and, and hopefully, you know, correct that a little bit. A couple plays where we, you know, don't foul. We play a little better to help defense. Get a couple shutouts could be a big difference in the game. I, I also wanted to ask, what, how do you think Nigel has handled uh, playing off the ball significantly more than he did at the start of the year? Well, he does a little bit of both, and we use him as a – as a runner, um, you know, this, we thought we could get Mike on drives, which would create help and then get the skips to, to Nigel Selton, Dejuan, 
um, which we did. I, I think, you know, we had our guys, I thought they made good basketball plays. Um, but, you know, Nigel can, you know, he can score off the ball. He can score on the run. Um, probably got to get a little better with the dribble and, uh, you know, taking the contact and dealing with ball screens. And hopefully that'll come with, uh, you know, with just time and experience and, and, and keep going through habits and repetition. All right. Thanks, Bruce. Travel safe. Yep. Uh, next question to John Kurtz. Yeah, Bruce, is, is there any kind of silver lining in, in the technicals and just seeing that kind of energy and emotion from, from you guys tonight? I don't think, I don't think that those technicals are silver lining. Are the only silver lining is that you hopefully learn from it never happens again. Um, you know, we've, we've talked about it in practice several times. Uh, just, you know, you can't do that. You can't do it on national TV and with final four refs, um, you know, that's, it's not allowed. And, and, you know, they, they had to learn the hard way. And it's, it's, it's disappointing because, uh, you know, it's, we, you know, both of them, Sultan, you know, we gave him four points and we had cut it to seven. So you think it would be at five maybe. And, and we, you know, now you get a stop and a lot of things can change, but um, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, it's some, I guess, I don't know if there's a silver lining this hopefully learn from it and grow and get, and get, make sure it doesn't happen. Barry Brown, I told the guys, uh, Barry had, they had some, you know, Barry had a technical or two uh, early uh, the year, one year, Cardi had one uh, and we had talked about it. And then obviously when they, you know, they became upperclassmen, they were much smarter about it and, uh, you know, learn to not do their talking with, they did their talking with their play and not with their mouth. What explanation did you get on what Selton did in particular? Just, you know, taunted, talk to, from what I understand, talk to their people. I, you know, he made a layup and he, you know, whatever, talked in their face, I guess. That, that's what, that's what we were told. And maybe you could see it better on TV. I don't know. How much did Davion's foul trouble hurt? Uh, it hurt because he was actually second half. We got it to him three in a row, right, to start the half. And then, you know, he gets a, he got, gets a little emotional and he gets a third and the coaches said, take him out. And I was like, yeah, we can't let a run go. And he was going and, and we had put somebody at the bench and he got a, a obviously a foul on a, a, a back screen. Um, again, you know, it, it's, I guess it's my fault for leaving him in, uh, but, uh, you know, his, he's, again, hopefully a learning lesson. If you want to call it a silver lining learning lesson, make sure uh, you don't get, you know, a fourth foul on a, on a back screen uh, that really had nothing to do with a play. Appreciate it, Bruce. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, next question of Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, in what ways do you tutor Bradford uh, to stay away from those type of fouls that you need him to pick up fouls in the post sometimes? And not give yeah, fouls. Yeah, you can't have the feet. cheap ones. You're going to get the regular ones, especially if you're a big guy. And he's been pretty good about staying in games. He just got to – obviously, they went at him. They got by his son. They went to Silva, uh, older guy, you know, that knows how to play, use his body. Um, they went to him, and then they also got bias, which created help. And then, you know, he might have got a foul or two there. But then you can't get the the other one. You know, that's, that's the big thing. You know, again, you can say a lot of things could have changed the game, um, and maybe it could have. But uh, putting them at the line 36 times and we only get nine, I think, what do we have at half two? So uh, hopefully we can do better and a better job of containing and hopefully do a little better job of drawing fouls. How impressed were you with the team's uh, early ball movement and ball reversals and player movement? I, I thought it was excellent. We put a... Coaches, we talked about them. We show them how to score. I think their reaction to it. Well, I thought against TCU, we made great basketball plays. We just missed shots. And, and today we made some more shots. Um, you know, hopefully we can continue to make progress with that. Uh, you know, it's still, we, we need Mike McGurl a little, little more consistent. And, you know, I think he forces a couple, um, you know, that would help his percentage. And then uh, we got to find him to get, you know, but he created a lot. Again, five assists for him, five to one. Um, you know, you go through the, what is it, the last six games, whatever it's, I think it's, uh, what was it, 25, 31, 36 to, 
maybe to to ten to nine, uh, you know, which is really really good for for a guy that you know is not really our point guard. So he's doing a lot of things that help us. Obviously, I know he wants to score, um, you know, and and uh, you know we got to get him some better looks and. Uh, hopefully that'll that'll come as we we make progress and and grow as a team. You know, you guys asked about Davion keeping him in the game. Uh, you just look at the plus minus. He he's zero on the plus minus, and uh, you know Selton also gets the fouls and he's one. So those two guys staying in the game obviously would have been a big factor for us. I'll just Nigel Pack's ability to knock down the open look tonight. Well, I, I mean, he's a, a really good shooter. And, and uh, I told you guys, you know, when we had the early practices, when he missed, I, I was surprised. Our coaches were surprised. I think he, he's had to adjust to the speed and quickness of the game, uh, how, peop how fast people get to him, uh, how he's got to work to get shots. Um, and he's – obviously, he's made some progress. And, this again, this is supposed to be one of the elite defensive teams in the country. And uh, you know, you know, we we shot. I think I think that's the most best percentage, best three percentage, best most points. Uh, you know, against uh, higher major teams of anybody. So I guess we made some progress, but we didn't get a win. So it really doesn't. Uh, uh, you know, again, I got to be smart with them and help them, and hope we can keep getting a little better at at, at little areas. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, we'll do one last. We'll do one last question to Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Bruce, uh, was Monty not playing? Was that the plan, or did he suffer some kind of setback since Saturday's game? <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, Monty. You know, gave a go uh, on Saturday in the game. Uh, he came to a Sunday and said, "I don't know if I can." Uh, continue to play with this pain. Um, I think he, him and his family, I've talked to both of them yesterday. Um, he did not make the trip. And, uh, you know, he, I think he's making a decision if he goes forward with a procedure, um, you know, hopefully we'll have a, a better feel here over the next couple days and then have final word on that. So uh, we do have Antonio back in town. He has to go through back the, through the protocols um, and hope to get him, uh, I hope, back in practice by, by next week and, and see where we're going. And Casey is going live workouts. Uh, we'll get him back into some hopefully live practice. I don't know if Luke will allow it Thursday, but hopefully by next week. Uh, I get him a week of practice to hopefully get him back in games. Um, and then uh, Luke, uh, uh, Luke Sauber, uh, Luke is finally, he actually has been in some live practices uh, with us, which I'm happy for him. It's been a long, you know, really from August till now. And, uh, you know, it's, we're still a ways away and we got to be careful because it's coming off a, you know, a delicate surgery. So uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we get, get a little more healthy uh, here over the next uh, next week or 10 days.